We will, we will, we will be free for when the rising tide has turned in every London quarter. Parliament comes crashing down with Boris rules of order. And the 20th is when I'm giving my speech in South Dakota. In front of Mount Rushmore? No, it's in uh, Sioux Falls. Well, make sure you pick, make sure that, uh, make sure of Sioux Falls you pick it up afterwards. You're hurting me. I'll take it back to Sioux City. Um, You're physically hurting me. You're the paralegal. You like Sioux's. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, this is Custer nice. didn't like su getting sued, but that's another story. This is nice and long. That was a bad hair day for him. This is nice and long, and now I'm glad because you're you're putting me through pain. Oh Lord, have what? <laughs> this thing is long. This is the question. It's a, it's a novel. Yeah. Okay. You ready? It's a novel pay, question. <laughs> pay attention, Mister Sabo. I can't afford that, but go ahead. <laughs> the adoption or rejection. Okay. Of the subsidiary motions. Oh, we're already in trouble. <laughs> yeah. To limit. Motions, plural? Yes. Okay. To limit or extend limits of debate. Okay. And that again. Okay. And yes. previous question. Okay. Do not preclude their renewal at any time that it is an order under the precedence of motions because. Oi, keep going. A. Full debate is essential to sound decision making. Any modification of debate rules requires at least a two thirds vote. Under normal, that in general is true, but keep going. B. The two above mentioned motions pertain to fundamental rights of members, so a two thirds vote is required to modify those rights. Keep going. C. The two-thirds vote necessary for the adoption of any motion to modify the limits of debate also fulfills the requirement for changing something previously adopted. I'm not sure I follow that one. D, all of the above are correct. Okay, read me C one more time. The two-thirds vote necessary for the adoption of any motion to modify the limits of debate also fulfills the requirement for changing something previously adopted. This is not a good question. This is a loaded question. I'm not totally sure. Um, okay, give me the give me the first part of it again, one more time. The adoption or rejection okay. Okay. of the subsidiary motions to limit or extend limits of debate. Right. And previous question. Okay, so that means that the previous previous the motion to extend is on top of the previous question in the stack. That would have to be. Well, wait a minute. Not necessarily. No. Not necessarily. Okay, never mind. Keep going. Do not preclude their renewal at any time that it is in order. Under the precedence of motions, because. Give me A. Full debate is essential to sound, dis sound decision making. Yeah, which I know is He's, true. There's no E. <laughs> um, uh, any modification of debate rules requires at least two thirds vote. Yeah. B. The two above mentioned motions pertain to fundamental rights of members, so a two thirds vote is is required to modify these rights. C, the two thirds vote necessary for the adoption of any motion to modify the limits of debate also fulfills the requirement for changing something previously adopted. D is all of the above. D is all of the above. I'm going to go with D because I'm, A in general is true, and I think B does make sense, which would add which would add us up to D. Okay, it is C. C? And I, I know, I get why Dustin said D and why you said D, but I'll tell you why it's not D. Because it's, it says their renewal is not precluded because... Even though A and B are true, 
yeah. just as general rules. Right. They're not the reasons that their renewal is not precluded. They're just general truisms. Okay, so C is what again? The two-thirds vote necessary for the adoption of any motion to modify the limits of debate right. also true, fulfills right. the requirement for changing something previously adopted. What does change that? What does change the previous adopted have to do with it? I, I know it's. That's where I'm confused. Well, I'm confused too, but I could tell you I knew why A and B. Because that didn't make. Okay, so what's the citation on this one? This is a bad question. I said that. 195. Okay. 22 through 24. Extend limits of debate, section 15. Condition. Okay. Uh, this is right before conditions for exhaustion of effects, of its effect, which is under further rules. I, I think it was just worded like really crazy. It was worded crazy. Let's see what they say, though. You read it because I can't find it right this second. Okay, the reason that... Uh, Where are you at? Um, section 15, right above conditions for exhaustion of its effect. Okay, right. Got okay, it. So we're right in here. Yeah. So we're probably back over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to back up a couple sections. What, what's, your, what's the first sentence that yours says there? Well, my, this was not all rewritten in my version, if you remember. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay, unlike the, um, this is back up to the line 12, just to add some context. Uh, I know what they're saying in the question now. Okay, got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Unlike the case of main motions and lower ranking subsidiary motions, postpone indefinitely, amend, commit, or postpone, the adoption of one motion limiting or extending the debate in a certain way does not cause another such conflicting motion to be out of order. A motion to set different limitations or extensions or to exchange or to change from one to the other, or, or to order the previous question, can be made at any time that it is in order under the question of precedence of motions until the pending questions affected have been finally disposed of. The reason is that the two-thirds vote necessary for the adoption of any motion to modify the limits of debate also fulfills the requirement for changing something previously adopted, see section 35. Mine says something different. Okay, what does yours say? One, it says the reason is that two thirds vote necessary for the adoption of any motion to modify the limits of debates also fulfills the requirement for suspending the rules. That makes that actually makes more sense. Yes, that makes sense. That makes a hell of a lot more sense. Because <laughs> you just adopted a rule, right? And then so you got to suspend it, right? Yeah, no, that makes sense. That's logical. This is like, what? I see why they rewrote that section. That was confusing. You're calling that one shitty? Yeah, I am. Okay. Um, yeah, that doesn't count. Because um, that was just... And the fact that they felt they had to rewrite it just tells it... Oh, right, no, shitty. So, my little pile of poop. <laughs> it's a little balls of poop. <laughs> that one doesn't count. That one doesn't count. Fever! Let's hear the opposition side Like a stubborn donkey's bray All opposed, you say nay Opposed, opposed The motion carries anyway